Hello, everybody, and welcome or welcome back to Yishian, the auto battling deck builder that has consumed my mind. We are going to be popping back in with Yan Shui here, the character that off camera I probably play the most, just because it's a really good multitasking character. N not many in the game do I feel like you can multitask where you can play Yishian in one monitor and then, like, do something in the other. But unrestrained sword, you kind of can. It's kind of like a pretty big... It's like playing a slot machine, really. It's like, did you get a lot of uh, unrestrained sword cards? Congratulations, your deck is good. Did you not? I'm sorry to say, your deck is bad. But there's like, obviously, there's room for nuance and room for changing things as well. But it's just a fun big number deck. It's a really strong scaling deck. Uh, so... Do, 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 do. Do, 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 to Yao. Holy moly, the lobby is a lot of the same stuff there. Okay, this is odd. Can I get some chi? <laughs> could I, could I, could I, hey, could I, like, uh, could I get, like, any chi, dude? Do I combine and run, uh, chi-less? Yes. I think it's worth, maybe. Maybe? It's an average, it makes it do an average of 6.5 damage a turn. And is an, is an average of 6.5 damage a turn? Oh, look, at you're running Chilas on something too. <laughs> oh, okay, well you're running, all right. The thing is, oh, please, thank God you're running Chilas, but I'm also running Chilas. This is the stupidest turn one ever. Uh, <laughs> I hated every second of that. Can I get like anything that run that gives us chi? Oh my word! You know what? Screw it. You've upset me. Um. Unfortunately, I can't actually like do that hmm so I mean I don't think that there's there's no world where I run this and then also run that to get the benefit it's just not possible I'm running this because six beats three <laughs> is basically the reason why I'm running that cloud sword touch sky even though it's not in a really good spot but I have not drawn a single card that generates chi have I or did I uh, get the Chi up one defense card? I always trash that one. It bores me. I like If I don't lose this, I guess I'm kind of like confused what everyone's doing. What, what everyone, what, 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 what's going on here? Okay, I do defense. I do not live this. It's a perfect kill. I actually was... No, no, I wouldn't have won. Man, you really are... Pulling out all the stops with, I, I I got the, come on man, oh give me a break I don't know what to do with this garbage you making me run Chilas in Seattle 24/7, there we go we just had to get rid of our our plan there. Uh, next one attack ignores the fence we want it to be that one I guess we're done with this. We just had to finally say all right I'm done with it I'm done with all that stuff. Uh, two cultivation. Beginning of battle, gain a trick. Oh, <laughs> Very funny. Very funny. Lose four destiny, draw two level one, two cards. Uh, this could be... We can, we can use this later. If we get, like, a whale or whatever the hell... There's some, there's an interesting, we could put this after, um, Flying Fang Sword, use it to activate the sword intent, and then we could run something that costs three chi, which is really interesting. Because as it stands right now, this is very, a very ineffective deck, like, really an ineffective deck that might 
win? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Uh, yep. That's a really important card for us to, to get. We, we're going to be rolling mostly looking for... I guess we trash that. She won Sword Intent. Is that better for us right now? Are you running defense? You're not running defense? Then we are not running this. Uh, do we go first? Probably not in any world. Well, but now we can't run this after and do something. But we also, like, let's be real. It's just not showing up. Like, I don't know what to say. Like, I can't... I can't force those cards to show up. But, hey. Ow. Oh, this is... This is no good. If you got a fire card after that... It's no good. This is going to be pretty hefty defense, and then we do not get you here. It's just a very well-placed defensive card there. We do die. It doesn't matter as much if this character... Um, not Copium. It uh, doesn't matter as much if we beef it early. Okay. There's something. Because we do draw cards for losing defense or losing destiny so we have 17 if we lose another destiny we um we draw a card which does mean we get more cultivation which means we get to go first more often i think we just say no to this question is if i keep this i'm not keeping it late game right now it's 12 damage and i think with 18 we're either coin flipping or no, you're breaking through. You break through right now. Eh. Eh. Interesting. Also might want to run Unrestrained Sword first. so Because we're probably getting to, to second loop more often than not. More often than not, I would assume so. That card always hurts... So much. Okay, we do win. Could have trashed this and still been fine. All right, so we could um, we could level up and reroll there, but we want to reroll in green because green is where unrestrained sword one is. I'm not running another one of those. There's the whale. Rude. Uh, do we upgrade? Do we level up? I think we do. Defense for every attack. Yeah. If you're running Unrestrained Sword, that one is... Like, if you're running Unrestrained Sword, you can skip everything except for the final upgrade, her, her gold upgrade, which is... It gives you an Unrestrained Chase card, which is... Like, you don't need me to tell you that that's incredible. How do you have so much cultivation? How like how do you have so much cultivation? I drew an extra card, and I have a cultivation passive. What's happening? I can't like I can't go first even if I want to. How do you have like how do you have so much cultivation? That doesn't actually doesn't make sense. <laughs> that card is nuts. <laughs> it's just. It's such an early game boon. It's absurd. Just like... Oh. Boink, boink. I do die. There's no surprise. This guy... If you lose the early game with this character, you're you're playing the game wrong. <laughs> like, let me tell you. You are, you are playing the game incorrect. I actually think we want to save our rerolls for purple phase. That's where um, Spirit Forcage is and also Unrestrained Sword 2. We're not really running Unrestrained Sword yet, but we might. At least I hope we do. Hey, hey, hey. I want 
to run this into Rock Spirit, but it doesn't really make sense. I'd have to... I'd have to kill one of the cards that I don't want to kill right now. Uh, you're going first no matter what. Oh, that's right. That's why you get you get to they get he gets two free cultivation by picking Starburst, or one free cultivation two if you trash it. Kind of two, if, kind of two regardless because you trash whatever card would be there anyways. So that any any upgrade that a character has that says gain two cards, you can also like you can put in the like tiny text. You can say also gain, lol, perfect kill. Uh, also gain two cultivation. Cool. I do like to see that. We are... Be patient. Be patient. Be patient. Be patient. Be patient. We are about to enter purple tier. Just go into it with as many re-rolls as possible. Uh, is there something worth... You are almost certainly going World Smash, which is terrifying. <laughs> huh. Weird place to put that card. I guess not really, because you can't do it any other way. Huh. I don't want to upgrade this because I want to run multiple flats. So the question is really just like, how much does this gain? Gain us four, uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten damage. This gains us... This gains us seven. It's, t it's a damage downgrade. And I'm not going first in cultivation anyways. It's a damage downgrade. I'm excited to pivot out of sword, uh, sword intent, but it's sort of like, sort of like you kind of have to right now. Oh god. Oh, they changed it all up, and it didn't matter. It was close. That almost really, really, really mattered. But overall, none of it matters because I lose this fight regardless. And I always was going to. Uh, an earth deck is a pretty tough counter to the type of build that I have right here. Okay, so what we do is we trash one. Breakthrough. Lose 8 Destiny, get 12 max HP is huge for us. We get uh, that bad boy. Shoot. Um, man, if I would have if I would have had that earlier. Okay. Okay. Okay, indeed. Uh, we can run. We run this first of all instead, and then we slowly get to do the pivot. Uh, this is currently 4-8. This is 16 damage. I don't know that I'm going to get 16 damage out here. This is done. This is done. I'm keeping these, and I'm waiting until... Mostly until I get one single Unrestrained Sword 2. If I get Unrestrained Sword 2, I can make the full pivot. And at Cultivation 55, I'm absolutely going to be an Unrestrained Sword build. Thank God! We got some hits. I... I saved all my rerolls for purple, and I in purple I found my green cards that I was looking for. What the hell's up with that? Makes no sense. But uh, yeah, we get to do the fun, the one simple trick to uh, ruin their life. Womp womp, womp. Free extra hit. I mean, I don't know what to say. We do die here though, anyways. That that living on. Living on 5 HP Garbanzo Bean action. Uh, Spiritus Formation again. It is probably now worth running instead. Come on, man. Just one. Just one hit. Oh, dang. That's worth running. Uh, uh, 
。哎。Man, I, I like I still don't really feel like I can do that pivot. I could ditch this, but it's just like feels like it's a mistake right now. But it's not a mistake if I go this route and pivot out. But I don't know if that... I just don't think it's the time yet. I think I lose out on too much damage. I lose out on too much damage. This is this stuff is good for later. This, I think, is done. This stuff is good for later. We're slowly charging up our, uh, our Omega Beam. We just need to not get knocked out here. If we make it to 55 and we find literally any unrestrained sword twos, guess what? We probably win. Jeez. These hits are nasty. What the hell is this? I've never seen that card before. Unfortunately for them, it doesn't actually seem very good. But whenever you get a treasure that you've never seen before, you always have to run it. It's the law. I'm not beating you in cultivation. That's never going to happen. There's these, all these ladies get uh, two free cultivation if they take the tier two. They get the cultivation there. Uh, two cultivation, two cultivation, cultivation. Oh, you lose a cultivation to get it. I gotta be honest, I think more of these cards, these should be minus one cultivations. Like, I don't think, and I'm saying in general, I'm saying maybe even for like, for this character, uh, I feel like you shouldn't be gaining cultivation while you're gaining that stuff, right? Oh, this is a quick kill deck. We could take this, take this out, run this instead, so that we don't die to it. Ay 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 ay. I like I can't go first no matter what happens. So I might as well keep all this stuff in my hand, right? Right, like what are you up to? 58. Yeah, you're 10 ahead of me. And you, oh my God, you got the Divine Walk Fulu form. As I, we're, <laughs> this lobby is going to be so hard. Oh, these hits are so tough. Literally immediate hit on the Fulu is so painful. Yeah, like I... I'm close. Maybe. No, you've got to be kidding me. You've got to be kidding me. Oh, this is so nice. Okay, those hits are nuts, too. Like, I can't deny. Uh, It's time. Okay. Um... Please, just one, just one hit. Okay. Um. One, two, three, four. This is kind of where we want that. Kind of. We want it the last spot that doesn't kill us, which means we need this. Which means one, two, three. We run this here. One, two, three. At the end of the turns. That's done. That's done. That's done. Ideally, we combine our Unrestrained Sword once we get something like Meru Formation. Yeah, uh, I think I actually I should be fine. Motionless Formation should mean... Motionless Formation plus one chase should mean I make it to the end. I'm not entirely sure. But I'm not entirely sure that we have lethal unless we do. Like, the further back it is, the more damage it does. Quite literally. Like, just factually. 
it does an extra eight damage for every space back it is. Oh, mama! Golding the spirit formation is amazing. It was our like it was our guarantee card. That is fine by me. Could have been much worse. So we still get we do get boosted to four. Oh, are you trying to do the strike twice garbage? Oh, I'm son of a gun. Every person I freaking see playing this character is trying to do this stupid deck. Like, someone spread a meme about it or something. I swear. I swear. Um, it's better, but a little bit awkward. Uh, this is runnable. We need the, we do need block for uh, heart fire. But do we kill with this? This is an extra 24 damage. 24 damage on one card. Are you running any defense? No. Okay, we're running this then. For you. And we get to go first regardless. That helps. Oh, look at this. It's a sandwich. Do, yao, do, yao, do. Me, do. Do, yao, do, yao, do, me, you. Dao. <laughs> do. <laughs> I'm losing my mind. Uh, this is, it's such a meme. It's, it's good. It's not bad. Strike twice into this. Like, the thing is, if you flying brush, strike twice into it, it means you go bang, bang, and then you start. The opponent skips two turns, which means they come back and you use this um, immediately. Play card. I don't know what this is about. Oh, it's because you need the chi for Great Spirit. Fair enough. Fair enough. Boink. Boink. All right, we do get to get the chase in here. Boink. That helps. Boink. Big boink. Yeah, we uh we kill on our final card if we make it there. We do. We do, Ling Yuan. Nice. Please. Oh, let's go. That feels good, but not for you. Okay, but the thing is, you running chase. You are running chase. Uh, I'm hard countered by this. I can't even run this card. I can't run this card. At the very least, I can't run that card there. Uh. Ooh. Twenty four damage. Yeah, it kinda hard counters me a bit. It really does. Like, um Cliff is a very nasty card for me. Combined Worlds a very, very nasty card for me. Unrestrained Sword fl uh fl flame dance does help with both of those a lot. The question is really just if I'm running this or not. I'm not going to be going first, which is annoying. A lot about this match has been really annoying. What a surprise. Wow. That guy lived at exactly one HP. He doesn't have a passive that keeps him alive, so he's he just got lucky. Oh, boy. Everyone's decks just all look the same nowadays. Okay, you're okay now. You're running Silness Citadel Dharma. Everyone's just running the same stuff. I mean, I'm not one to talk here, but I'm 
Do we run the ch I think we run the chase. If we run the chase, do we run the chase first? It doesn't matter. The fight's going to go long enough that we get to run it. The question is if Cloud Sword Dragon Rum is going to chase or not. Uh, it is going to do be doing 12 damage at the very least to potentially chase. Or, you know what I mean? Womp. Cool. Yeah, you restore it. That doesn't really bother me. Okay. I mean, this is going to hurt a lot. See, this that's what I'm talking about with the counter. And then... I actually do get to get the chase off, which is pretty cool. But then you get combined world into... Yeah, you just... It just, it's hard counter territory. It's literally just hard counter territory. Except I got really lucky. Holy crap, that was very lucky. Nothing else to say about it than that. Uh, chase, I can't chase into chase. I think we have to just make it so we're more likely to hit with it instead of running a second. That was a really good find. Are you running chase? Yeah. Can I go first? No. You're running plenty of chase, though. This is still worth keeping. Ouch. I do outscale, though, so it's like I could go one, two, get boom, 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 chase, boom, chase, boom, Oh, wait, what am I doing? Oh, shoot. This doesn't work. Well, it's kind of fine. Yeah, this doesn't, this just doesn't work. Oh, shoot. It doesn't not work, it just doesn't really work. It does mean that we have this uh, streamlined very, very tight, but I can't really use Dragon Roam here. The way to make this work better is if I wasn't running a second continuous, but I don't really want to be running a second continuous, so I think I'll just chase a chase here. Because it'll be boom, 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 which puts us here. We go boom, boom, boom. Boom. So we have like kind of one, we have one quasi wasted turn, but at the very least, Cloud Sword Dragon Roam is going to be doing um, six damage. Three, it's going to be doing 18 damage. It's hardly that bad, but like, it's obviously not ideal. The most ideal thing would be to find just another Miru formation. Yeah, I, the least surprising deck for this character I could have seen, I think. Oh, wait, you didn't get... Did you just not get it, I guess? I mean, I do die here, right? No? Yes. Okay. Mirror, please. <gasps> you saved me. I said maybe. You're going to be the one to save me. That helps a lot. Um, you are running chase. You're actually running a lot of chase. But I don't think it matters anymore. The thing is, taking all that damage... Uh, I don't think we're running this. Ideally, we just get another Miru. What are you all doing to get so much freaking cultivation? That's what you're doing? Holy gob. Cultivation... Lose a cultivation, but get a card that lets you get cultivation. So this is a net neutral. Draw a water spirit every breakthrough, which is three cultivation, two cultivation. Cultivation, 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 cultivation. Okay. Understandable. What is this? Who are you fighting? Oh, you're fighting... Uh, oh, that's kind of clever. You're fighting them. Yeah, they're just running the same freaking deck, just in a different form. This person has the better ver- Like, they both- It's funny. They have this piece, which is really important, and they have this piece, which is really important. It's, a, like, a really good deck. Ooh, mama! We 
We have a chance. We have a chance. Unrestrained Sword Zero is really important. It helps us get the healing. Uh, it also means that we can run at this. We don't want to do that because we have Miru. Unless we do... Um, that. Boom, boom. Ba -da -da -da. Ba -ba -ba boom. It's a little bit better that way. Getting the chase out quicker is just a little bit better. Uh, oh, you've got the secret treasure? You got the secret treasure that hard counters me? I mean, you, I also didn't have Unrestrained Sword Zero beforehand, so, like, I think we'll be okay. I think we'll be okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. Please get out of the lobby, please. Thank you so much. They literally got a secret treasure that hard countered me. Holy crap, man. That was terrifying. How much chase you got? You got a lot of chase, dude. Uh, healing is irrelevant against you, so the chase is important, so we do need to run this now. I'm going to be going first regardless, so that's pretty cool. Which also means, is it better to do this to get the guaranteed chase? No, wait, no, 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 no. This doesn't chase. This is awkward. Wait, if you're running this here, then you're chasing a chase. Are you going to fix that? You might fix that. If you're fixing that, then I want to run Octogates first. If you're not, then I don't. Oct Octogates. <laughs> Octgates. Please, somebody kill this person. Please, somebody kill this person. They hard counter me so bad. Please, please, please. Oh, they got rid of their cards that, that, uh, that do hard counter me. They probably have them on their sideboard, if I were to guess. That or they were assuming I was going to get knocked out of the lobby, which I should have been by now. To be quite honest. The question is just if I'm running this first or not. If I if I swap this up, it's we subtract one damage, right? No, we subtract a lot of damage. Uh, please don't move your chase to first. You did not. Okay, good. Alright, so that does a free 36 damage that I don't even have to I don't have to do anything else for, it just happens. Which is really helpful. Because this is a race. Fighting the fire deck is always just a race. Good. We won the race. Um, This one is less of a race. I can't. I, it's a good card, but it's not good here. Another mirror would really make my day. Um, how much am I going to really injure you? If I'm not going to injure you that much, how much am I going to injure you? If this goes long term... Which this deck is set up for scaling. This uh, steep, steep quicksand is is a long term scaling deck. The question is if they kept the side their sideboard to counter me or not. I think I need to assume they didn't. Otherwise, like I just can't do anything. Like I'm gonna just hope that we go first. That's mostly it. It's a coin flip, and they win the coin flip. Oh, if that matters, I'm upset. Alright. Sure. Full defense block. Sure. So they did not keep their sideboard, but it doesn't really matter that much. Because I am pretty hard countered by that as well. We'll see. I think... Eh, I think we're fine. I think we're fine. 
Oh, no. No! Oh, my God! It's so close. It was so close. It was so close. Did the heal make a difference? Oh, I won. How did I do that much damage to you? Because the heal, I guess. Oh. I shouldn't have won that lobby. Actually, yes, I should have. I need to not say that. Here's why I should have won that lobby. Because I got dealt a pretty trash hand for a long time, and you know how I stayed in it? I stayed in with counter cards. That's that's literally it. I stayed in with uh, with proper placement of continuous cards against the correct players, and that's how I lived this long. And then, you know what player seven's mistake was? They didn't keep their counter card on their sideboard. They thought I, they either A, thought I was going to get knocked out of the lobby, or B, just hoped that it would have been enough scaling, which is, is fair. The deck they're running is very, very good, and I would consider it to be the optimal Earth deck in almost all scenarios. Counter scenario being a deck with better scaling. There's only kind of like two, one or two in the game, and one of them is Unrestrained Sword. Uh, so... That's a that's a thing where if, if I was playing that deck, I I would hope to think that I would have kept that on the sideboard. But who knows? Because in that situation, if I saw that and I, you know, didn't get knocked out, what I would see is like, well, do I have to get rid of Unrestrained Sword 1 just so I, that I don't get countered? You know, because if you put that in the right spot, suddenly I'm doing all of my health to myself. You know, that, that that's a really big deal. Um if I if you run Unrestrained Sword 2, that card doesn't really matter. It's it's just kind of hard to say. I, I lucked out there, I, I think, a little bit. Uh, but the, playing the correct counter cards at the correct time is exactly why I, I did get first, I guess. Uh, alas, alas, though, that is that. That's going to do it here for today for Yixian, the auto-battling deck that has consumed my mind. If you'd be sad to see the series go, you got to let me know in the form of a comment down below. Thank you for watching. Check out the channel. It needs more every single day, and I'll see you next time. Bye.